yo 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 what's good y'all so on this video guys let me do this real quick on this video right i want to give you guys some quick tip right about how you can How you can remove a very strong condition right? that you've been, you know, programmed with. Because you know, when I go around, right, I notice that you know a lot of people they actually have everything that they need, you know, and it's only that they do not recognize them, you know. And like that's that's for me that's the biggest downfall because a lot of people right they are they, they have been conditioned so much that you know it's pretty much like they are on a fucking highway to hell you know because think about it right I'd like. I don't know how to put it because I just I just came across a guy, right? And he was shying down, you know. So it made me think because I've been there myself, you know. I've been in a place where, you know, I didn't want to talk to people, right? I didn't want to uh, engage so much with people, you know, especially strangers, right? And then I realized that, like, yo, you know, living like that, right? Living like that, being, you know, unwilling to engage, right? Or just being timid, you know, is the biggest downfall, right? Because, you know, you gotta, as a, as a person, right, you need to be not even strong, right? You don't need to be strong. You already are strong. You just need to start to, you know, move away from the condition. That you don't, that, that you do not like, or that you do not enjoy being in, you know, whether that condition is mental, right, emotional, or spiritual, it's still the same thing, you know. So one way, right, you can, you know, decondition yourself, right, or reprogram your subconscious, right. One day, one way you can uh, recondition yourself, right, or program your subconscious is by, you know, allowing yourself to talk to strangers, right, to talk to everybody, you know, don't just talk to people that have the same color as you, right, or the same mindset as you, or, you know, same religion, same everything, right. Learn how to talk like physically, you know, literally with strangers. You know, so you can you can just start with saying hi. You know, you know when you are a kid, when you were a kid, right? When you were a kid, you were, we are we are talking pretty much with, with everybody. You know, we are talking pretty much with everybody when you were a kid. So what happened, right? Is that as we grow up, right? We then start to you know, cling on to ways, right, of communicating with people, right, we cling on to ways of, you know, I am interacting with people, right, we get caught up in, into those uh, conditioned ways, right, of, uh, let me show you this big river real quick, as you can see, this is the river that I always pass by, right, but, as I said, right, as we go over, we, we, we become conditioned, right, to talk, you know, walk, live, like think about it, right, there are certain things, right, that you want to do, can you feel the energy as I, as I pass by there, can you feel how different the energy goes when I pass by there, so, like I said, right, we are being programmed by these motherfuckers, these uh, 
what we should behave and do, you know, with our life, right? But uh, I'm telling you guys, you know, like a lot of people, like I started with the, with the video, right? A lot of people, they actually have everything that they need, right? But now they are just conditioned to look at what they don't have, you know? They are just conditioned to, like, everything, you know, from the characteristics of you as a person, right? Your character, to just, to just, uh, the environment that you live in, right? To the environment that you live in, or that you spend most of your time in. Those things, that, like you should, you should make sure that, actually let me put it this way, right? This is the summary of this video. Put yourself, right, in places or situations that allow you to break your conditioning, you know? If you can if you can allow yourself right to be in those places wherever you can challenge your conditioning, you know? Like for example, maybe if I was conditioned to hold my phone like this, right? I can then challenge myself to hold my phone like this, you know? But I realize that for me, if I hold my phone like this, while I'm walking in this steep ass road as you can see, it's gonna take a lot of time. You know, so that's what I'm that's what I'm telling you guys. Put yourself in a position where, but you can challenge those conditions, right? Because me, I'm not you know I'm not conditioned. I can do everything that I love, right? I can swim, you know I can do everything that I love. That that's me, you know. But what I'm saying, right, is that you you have your own conditions, you know, and those conditions. They are making you behave in a in a certain way, you know. Because a lot of people are behaving for validation's sake, you know. They are behaving for validation's sake. They are speaking for validation. And it's deep because you know, things like this, right? Validation you know, those are deep subjects. Because everybody's speaking for validation, right? But it just depends why, you know? But, so, like, I mean, if you don't have the why, if you don't know why you're speaking for validation, like, you just want to be a part of something, then you're in trouble. Because when that thing expires, right, you will now have to go down with it, you know? But if you're gonna just be who you were meant to be, right? And to just focus on perfecting that, right? Rather than try, trying to, you know, work on things that are that are basically the symptoms, you know, not the causes, right? The cause is just that you, as an individual, right? You are being conditioned to behave, think, look, feel do things that way, you know, so, hold on, oh, oh, so, like I said, right, since you are being conditioned to do these things and behave in, in this way, right, it's gonna take time, and it's gonna take a lot of uh, repetition, right, of the other things that you need to be doing, you know, to decondition yourself, right, because a lot of people I know, you guys are super condition to a point that you cannot even speak to strangers right if somebody's a stranger you automatically think that they're gonna you know they're out to get you it's because of that it's because of that conditioning right me the first thing that i did i was afraid of indians you know growing up i know i knew that i was you know having this fear of indian people you know i didn't know why i had a negative preconditioning right about Indian people but I know I had a negative preconditioning about Indian people so what I did is that I gave myself a task right to say okay I'm gonna spend time right 
using the library that's in that location, right? And within a few months time, I was already used to these people, you know? And I was already used to, because what I did, right? I went in there and started to talk to them, you know? I, I spoke to everyone that I could find. And as time goes on, right? I started to make sure that, you know, I, I'm no longer like, oh, like I, I track my progress, right, with these people, to check if, you know, I'm still afraid of them, right, and I found out that, as soon as I spoke to like 10 people, right, what happened is that after that, I was no longer even thinking about that anymore, you know, it was like natural, you know, I wasn't afraid of them, in fact, I was starting to look down on them at some point, you know? But that just goes to show, right? That like a preconditioning. It can be you, maybe when you grew up, right? They were telling you that, okay, um, you shouldn't hang out with Indian people. Maybe they told me that, that Indian people still, still are their kids, you know? They still kids. So I was preconditioned to fear Indian people because they still kids, you know? Some shit like that. So, you also gotta ask yourself, trust me, there's a lot of those fucking conditionings inside of you. Or programs, right? So you need to find a way to uncondition yourself, precondition yourself, you know? Decondition yourself. I don't know what's the fucking way. But, you gotta find way, a way to do that, right? If you're gonna be a free person. If you're gonna be a free person, I promise you, you need to find a way to uh, break down those conditionings, right? By doing simple things. You see me, I'm always working in nature, as you can see, every time. You know, me, I always do my shit, right? I always work in nature. A lot of people, they are in jobs, you know, they think looking, getting a job or going to school is the biggest thing, you know? So that's the condition for them. But for me, I know if I want money, success, everything, I can get those things, right, whilst not sacrificing my freedom, you know, I can get those things without sacrificing most of my freedom, so, yeah, that's all, that's it, it is all in the building, man, see you on the next one, man.